Hello, I'm Morris A. Bift Von Huffle the Fourth, and this is Behind the Webcam. Today, we have for you another exciting interview, another talented and extraordinary youth. A man who is our first international guest, all the way from the British Isles. Let me introduce to you, our Gurneen Chimp! Evening, chaps. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for being here, Gurneen Chimp. I appreciate your time and your effort. Now, let us not dilly-dally. Let us get right into the questions. The first and most meaty of these questions naturally is, what inspired you to become a blogger? Um, I became a blogger for a bit of a life, really. I mean, <laughs> my vid poo skills are a bit basic, so uh, I just decided to write my opinions down. I also feel a lot of professional critics, particularly in Britain, are very lovey-ish now. They tend to sort of gush over the latest film star and not sink their teeth into things that are wrong with the film. And quite frankly, you need my opinion. A bit of a laugh. That is brilliant. Brilliant. And the fact is that we do need your opinion, Gurning Chimp. For thoughts like yours are... Beautiful. But now, we must move on. We can only admire your answer for so long. Tell me. Where did the name Gurning Chimp derive from? Uh, the name Gurning Chimp is from the video game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, the name of the fictional band was the Gurning Chimps. I quite like the sound of it. It was random and it made people smile. Um, so I thought I'd go with that. Also, people have always said that the, I look like a Gurning Chimp. No idea why. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I am not familiar with the work, but I am sure it's brilliant, just because you are brilliant and you would not indulge in anything that was not so. And as far as you looking like a gurning chimp, I personally do not see it. I think you only look brilliant. But now, as much as I would like to admire your answer and your fortitude, young man, I would have to move on to the next question. Tell me. Do you prefer your blogs shaken or stirred? I'd actually have to say neither, really. Because if you shake up the blog, then once you open it, it will spray everywhere. And once you stir it, then it's just weakening it. I actually prefer my blogs neat and full of alcohol. Neat? I would have never thought of such an option. It blows my mind. I had thought shaken and stirred were the only two options, but yet you have come up with something original! Brilliant. Let us reflect for a moment. Moment over. Now, now we must move on to the next question. Tell me, if you were to become the manservant of somebody, I will give you an option of list, do not worry. Which one of these would you be the manservant to? A James Bond, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Mr. Bean? Take your time to answer this deep question. Hmm. Although Mr. Bean might be funny at first, his antics were probably great on me over time as he keeps repeating. However, he might be that stupid that I could probably get his pin number or something out of him. As for James Bond, I could see it would be pretty cool, but I'd have to deal with all the angry husbands Oh, the paternity suit, the STD clinics, um, as well as possibly being killed. And as for Obi-Wan Kenobi, he was actually a drinking buddy of mine. Um, he was both really good at pool, down at the uh, my local. He actually taught me a trick. Um, <coughs> I'm ready for this. Yeah. This is the answer you're looking for. This is the answer I'm looking for. Mind you, the mind trick didn't work. I just knew that it was. Because it came from you, a gurning chimp. Yes. Another beautiful and brilliant answer. Well, I thank you for your time today, sir. And all that you have given us in terms of knowledge and power. You have been a brilliant guest. So now, I say adieu to you, gurning chimp. And I thank you for your time.
It was a pleasure being on, Wallace. Say hi to Gromit for me, but I really must be off to do English things. See ya. Gromit, you say? Well, if I stumble upon this Gromit, I shall say hello to him. Wait, I think I know that reference. It does not matter, though, for I will allow you to do your English things, as all Englishmen do, I assume. So, I thank you for your time, I thank the audience for their time, and I hope they enjoyed the uh, brilliance of this interview. As always, I am Wallace A. Biff von Huffle the Fourth. If you have any interest in being interviewed on Behind the Webcam, you can leave a comment there. Not my groin, not the floor, not anything you are thinking of, it is just merely on the comments box. So, I thank you for your time. So, have a good night. must have a cold coming on. Holy cow. Oh, oh. <laughs> if this dies before I go up, somebody uh, tell somebody. All right? If it goes up and, you know, and I die, just let them know.